Okay. Now we can go to the butcher in Whitechapel. We were just... Look at him holding the heart. That's cool. It shows the harpoon and everything. Okay. So, Watson, let's get her done. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yet. Holmes, you should aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable test. Okay, hold on. Wait, how do you throw it? Oh. Nice! The harpoon has struck the body, but with insufficient strength to pierce it straight through. So I'm pretty close. Holmes, you should try to aim better and throw as hard as you can. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Holmes, I can't believe it. Did you just miss? <laughs> I'm sorry. Holmes, you should try... Oh my god, dude, seriously? Wow! That sucked. There you go. Is that enough? This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. All right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well, but please hurry. <laughs> of course. Such a troll. Okay, so that's done. Okay. Strength requirement. Pin to the wall. I, okay, I can't read it. Feet of strength requires much greater strength than that of the average man. There has to be... It's got to be a sailor. That's my guess. For now, anyway. Wait, where are we going? Let's talk... Wait. Oh, well, let me talk to... Wait, where's Watson at? Let's go back to the yard. I want to see if there's anything we could investigate in regards to what's his nuts. That makes more sense. All right, so there's different things leading to different things. So we can change deductions on the fly. Like I said, I doubt it was a lucky throw. I think it was a sailor who he pissed off. That kid, I don't think, had the strength to do it. So let's go see if we can talk to him again. Locked. What? Oh, my bad. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Never mind. 
Mr. Holmes. Can I go in? Talk to this chap. Aha, this is the the morgue. Nothing I need here yet. It's a little creepy being in here, so let's peace. Let's peace out. You know what? Let, we might as well go back. I think we should go back to... Wait, no. Hold on, let's talk to this chat. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Never mind. Okay, I guess we're done here. So, my current objectives... Oh, I have new evidence. I'll bet you if I find his papers, these abbreviations will mean a lot more. Shall we go back to Baker Street? Maybe see what we can investigate. But I need an I need a I need a pair of boots. My deduction. I don't know, man. We don't have enough clues yet. Oh, yes we do. Peter Carey a non-smoker. No, that's nothing. No gardener. Okay. Uh, missing tin box. Oops. No. No gardener? No. Stop it. I think I've done them all. None of it makes sense. Okay. I figured maybe I can get some more with that, but... Okay, Watson, what do you recommend? Good gracious, you caught someone. At least now you have a suspect. Brave Toby. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. My analysis table. Damn it, man. It is useful for my work. Here we go. A heavy gold ring from the inscription, newspapers. First electric railway opens, a bankruptcy act, 1883. Fenian condemned to murder. Dawson and Nelligan are, are bankrupt. Here we go. Dawson and Nelligan investment fund bankrupt. Nelligan missing. The Dawson and Nelligan investment fund, a regional banking institution based in Cornwall, has declared bankruptcy as a loss as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio and has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. It was the 23rd largest bank in Britain, and its bankruptcy was the second largest on record. Liquidation of company is pure catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Joshua Nelligan, one of the bankers, has since mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen aboard his yacht preparing for departure to Norway. Nelligan is wanted bo both by the police and his creditors. Here it is. Damn. Now I begin to understand that young man's story, but I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. All right, so we found that out. All right, so now we're going back to the Scotland Yard. I guess you can do that from any angle or anywhere. Is there any new deductions? No. Not yet, anyway. And I think there's a total of six. So this is one of six. Case six. Case one. Locked. Right. I always forget that. All right, my friend. Let's have a little word. 
Dawson and Nelligan. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believed that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. See, this will help you get acquitted. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. So now, oh wait. This shit, do I actually have to go back? All right, let's, okay, so let's go back. Wait, can't, wait, one second. I should be able to just leave. Yeah, okay. So you can just do it from wherever, which is nice. They so had to go to a door. More deduction? Probably not. No. Oh my god. No shit, Sherlock. And we'll see during that time frame if they cross paths. It's possible Buddy, like, attacked him or some shit went down. Obviously. 1883. That's the one I need. Let's take this a look. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. Peter Carey, Master. Charles Allison, First Mate. Henry Joy, Second Mate. James Lancaster, Helmsman. Patrick Cairns. Harpooner, Pablo Con Coventrao, Harpuno, Ned Land, Harpooner, Joseph Walker, Stewart, John York, Cook, Richard Long, Sailor, Simon Weeks, Sailor, Isaac Page, Will Wright, Benjamin Tinsley, Matthew Granger, Ra Rolf Talbot, Seth Fowler, Roger Fowler, Thomas Lawrence, Hugh Pattons, Henry Shepard. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Okay. Log notes for July. Nothing special. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR. A torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. <laughs> the last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. The CPR Railway. Oh, where's his body? They probably took it away. Okay, so let's take a look. Where do you want me to go? Wiggins might help to find the crew of the CU. He should be somewhere at Baker Street, okay. A lot of back and forth. Although I prefer it this way than than what they like. I said in the last game, there was a lot of uh, random walkings about. Do you guys remember that? I'm probably gonna get pe some people to go over to my old series so they'll see it. I don't know. People did enjoy it. Sometimes I was kind of you know slower <laughs> in figuring stuff out. But like I say, this is the uh, the first one. First mission, so it's probably pretty simple. Kind of spells shit out for you, you know. That old chestnut. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. 
And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your <laughs> service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. <laughs> Ain't that true? Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Visually, this thing is really nice. This game. From what I've seen, anyway, so far. The character design, that sort of thing. Okay, oh, my bad, sorry. Where is this chap? Please tell me you got a lead, man. Because we're just dying here somewhere. I'm glad to see you. <laughs> As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Pray tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Allow me. Let us hope so. Allow oh, yes, me. One more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, eh? Mm, breathtaking. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's hope this thing helps. Look, the boots! These are the suspect's belongings. They might fit. I'm gonna take his fucking boots and we'll have to go back. Liam Hurtley's old boots. Nine and a half. A size nine and a half. Possibly. Nothing unusual about it. The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. So we tried to cover it up. Can we figure this out yet? These are the suspects. I wonder if these are connected. CPR. Right here, boom. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. Sweet. So we have a new, new evidence. Uh, missing papers. Missing tin box. That's definitely it. Stolen valuable papers were kept inside the stolen tin box. There you go. Nelligan's motive. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. We don't have... I 
I'm not making an accusation yet. I don't want to make an accusation. I don't want to make an accusation accidentally. Right, it's locked. <laughs> Who is that cat? The same here? Yeah. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. His bitch ass is gonna sing! Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Exactly. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are, and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. Just make fun of his mother. <laughs> or something. Let's do a profile. Nothing yet. Oh, what's this? Old scar. Oh, very. Handkerchief with crested tit. Plant remains. Go ah! He's the gardener, maybe. That's all for now. Mr. Holmes? I'm not saying another word. Please escort this suspect. Maybe we can get something else out of him. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I... I, I was trying to find some information about my father. That's bullshit. The bond certificate? I assume you had another purpose, to retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I, I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. That's all for now. Well, cool. I will see you soon, young man. All right, so let's take a look at my uh, objectives. Okay. What is he trying to hide? Oh, right, okay. Damn, I had a sneeze coming and then it just, you know, vanished. I fucking hate that shit. Right. Wait, what? Nelligan was looking... New motive? John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond. That might have been a motive for him to Murray. No. No, no, no. It's a victim of circumstance. That's what I'm saying. We gotta find more information. See, when they say, they say accuse Nelligan, I don't think he did it. I really don't. It's, it's coincidence. So now we have to find out what